Hello, my name is Christine Thomas uh, from Legate International Immobilier. I'm here today in the Loire Atlantique to introduce you to this fantastic and rare example of Italian architecture in France. If you'd like to know more about the property, please follow me. Come this way. Right, the approach to the chateau is via this fantastic gatehouse which offers complete privacy and security. On the west, we have um, the, the old fortified farm and the remnants of an old tower because the site dates from 1335. Um, and it is in fact a historical monument. We have on the east side, all the winemaking equipment and offices. And to the front, we have the main chateau. So let me tell you a little bit about the, uh, the history of this amazing place. Um, it's only belonged to five families in 687 years. It's been owned by the Mayor of Nantes, um, who was actually responsible for a lot of the architecture um, and the build as it is today, probably because he had access to a lot of the best artisans and architects of the period. Um, it's also been owned by members of the resistance and a general um, who fought in the, uh, first, in, in the Second World War. It's also been a hunting lodge for the local aristocrats who uh, were across the road at the local chateau. And it's also had the very first Muscatet grapes planted here in 1635. And the parcel of land, the grapes and the wine still exist today. If you'd like to know more about the property, please follow me. So here we have the entrance hallway. And just like the rest of the chateau, it's packed with original features. From beautiful original flooring, um, all the plaster work and cornicing, and all the woodwork over the doors. To my right here, we have a separate wing with office, uh, facilities um, and bedroom. Here we have a lovely dining area. And through here, we have the Grand Salon, complete with wooden flooring, stunning plaster work, large windows giving expansive south-facing views. Okay, so from the grand living room, we have this small cozy snug with a double-sided wood burner, perfect for those winter evenings. first floor, uh, we have a library area, the great games area, and four bedrooms, all with their ensuite bathrooms. This beautiful suite has many original features. Um, it has an ensuite bathroom and beautiful views out towards the garden. Um, there are three other bedrooms like this, again with ensuite bathrooms. Um, and if you'd like to follow me, we'll go and look at the, uh, the separate uh, gite area, which uh, is a mix of uh, contemporary 
and uh, ancient. are in the east wing of the property. This is where old meets new. We have this beautiful contemporary kitchen combined with the lovely terracotta and the beautiful stonework of the fireplace. Uh, this wing of the house has some of the oldest features. Um, in the next room you find a beautiful stone spiral staircase. There's a well, bread oven and even the old washing sink. Uh, it's been all been lovingly restored. On the first floor, we have four ensuite bedrooms, and outside there is a gorgeous little cosy covered terrace. the orangery um, and you'll note this door over here with the panel above all this can be removed so that you can wheel your trees your orange trees in and out um, to save them in the winter months if you'd like to follow me this way we have a gorgeous terrace area Here we are in this wonderfully secluded courtyard. Perfect place for entertaining, receiving visitors, etc. Behind me, you have lovely garden area. You have 26 hectares of ground, which includes pasture land for horses, as well as woodland um, with oaks, a small tree, a small stream, water source, um, and a lake with a lovely pigeonnier. Um, to the side of it. one more surprise for you, if you'd like to follow me. My final surprise for you today is this purpose-built conservatory, which is perfect for wedding events, business meetings, concerts in a lovely tranquil setting surrounded by woodland. Your imagination is the only thing holding you back. The 
amazing chateau behind me is a listed historical monument and in 687 years has only had five owners. Are you going to be the sixth owner of this magnificent building? So if you'd like more information on this property, photos, please follow the contact information below. Uh, my name is Christine Thomas and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.